Well, hi, Gabe. Good boy. That's it. Sweet baby. Good boy. Target. Good boy. Yeah, he's a sweet baby. Yeah. Good boy. That's my sweet baby. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Gabe, and we're having a clicker training session here. Good boy. Getting him used to a halter, and he's had a rope on his face this morning. Yeah. And he did really good. Yeah. Okay. Good baby. Gabe is from Missouri. Yeah, he's got quite a story. But that's not the purpose of this video. Yeah. Good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. He stays nice and calm. That's what we like. Okay. Good boy. Yes, he's a sweet baby. He's a sweet baby. Yeah, that feel good. Good boy, I'll let go. It's gone. I'm. This is not a video on clicker training, but I do love it. And I'm gonna come out and tell you about how we are expanding our farm program. And Gabe, head down, head down. Gabe is part of our expansion. Hi there, this is Sue Emmon from Wild Horse Preserve at Grace Winds. We started out, our mission statement was that we are a ministry, which means we're trying to make people's lives better by connecting uh, you guys with the wild horses of, and at first we said East Coast, because there's eight herds along the East Coast. Then we learned about the mountain ponies of Virginia, and then, hey there, Gabe. And then we learned about uh, the 3,000 free roamers in the good boy in the state of West Virginia. And then we learned about the 3,000 in the state of Kentucky. So we dropped the word coast in our mission statement and we went with the wild horses of the East. Well, I thought I had everything nailed down and lo and behold, there's wild horses in the state of Missouri. And that's where Gabe's from. Like I said, he has quite a story. We also learned there's wild horses in Louisiana. And we also learned there's still one wild herd left in South Carolina. And this is alfalfa. I've never met a horse that didn't like alfalfa. So now we have changed and expanded our program to say that we're connecting people with the horses of the eastern part of the United States, as opposed to what? the western part of the state. And for us, it was kind of an aha moment when we learned that there are wild horses at Chincoteague, Virginia. We were like, what? Because everybody knows there's wild horses out west, right? And exactly where is the west? Well, there's 10 states out west that have wild horses, thousands of them, and they're all managed by the BLM, Bureau of Land Management, and uh, Nevada has the most, if you uh, want to get specific. So it's never been our mission to try to connect people with the wild horses out west, but people just don't know about the wild horses here in the eastern part of the United States. And when I was doing my counting, there's actually over 7,000. Hi there, baby. So that's how we're expanding our program. Gabe uh, is, I'm going to have a halter on him, lickety split, I hope. He's really sweet and friendly and smart. And we've got a couple of horses coming from Louisiana. We're going to make a video about them. We are working on our uh, Missouri wild horse video. So we are expanding. We know now there's more than just uh, eight herds along the coast. We hope you enjoy our videos. You found us here at the herd page on our website. We hope you enjoy our videos and definitely we hope they inspire you to go find them. Yeah, you're so sweet. Come here.